Okay, so our topic for this day is about parabola. One of the applications of parabola is what we call the satellite dish, like in this figure. It is a parabolic shape so that the signals transmitted from the satellite, so like this, Okay, once the meron tayo na transmit the signal mula sa satellite, uh, mag-bounces off yan papunta sa ating point na tinatawag natin na focus. Okay, so every time na makaka-receive tayo ng signal, and everywhere dito sa ating satellite dish, lagi yan babalik or laging nadaan yan sa focus. Or every parabolic figure or every parabolic line has what we call the focus. Okay, another one is we have what we call the parabolic mirror which is found sa ating flashlights and yung tinatawag natin na focus ay nagmumula dun sa ating bumbilya. Okay, once na ang light natin ay nag uh, nagtama sa ating parabolic figures or parabolic mirror, okay, so ito ay mag-bounce and mag-produce ng parallel lines like this. Okay, so, yan, mga parallel lines galing sa ating focus. So, kapag gumamit ng parabolic mirror, okay, hindi kalat yung uh, light na napoproduce ng ating light source. Okay, so, that is one of the applications of parabola. A parabola is generated when the plane is parallel to one generator and intersecting only one of its knobs. So, from here, ang nagbuo nating figure is parabola. When we say parabola, a parabola is, it is the set of all points in a plane that are equidistant from a fixed line called the directrix and the fixed point not on the line called the focus. Okay, so if we have x-axis and y-axis, uh, we have this line called a parabola. And then, for every parabola, meron tayong vertex as well as the axis of symmetry and uh, this point is the focus and this line is what we call the directrix. So, let us discuss those parts of the parabola. Again, this is x-axis and y-axis. This line is for the parabola. This point is is the vertex, the axis of symmetry, and the focus. And then this line is for the directrix. Okay, so we have what we call the focal distance. Okay, when we say focal distance, it is the distance between the focus and the vertex, and it is represented as C. In this figure, yung distance the focus to vertex is what we call the focal distance, which is represented as C. Okay, we have to take note that the measurement or the distance between the focus and the vertex is the same with the uh, distance between the vertex to the point perpendicular to axis of symmetry dun sa ating directrix. So, this is also representing as C. Okay, again, uh, this point is what we call the focus, which is what we call the fixed point, the directrix. Okay, itong line na ito. Okay, we're in yung line na na-form natin kay directrix ay mula sa distance na parehas to sa focus to vertex. And yun ay makukuha sa vertex hanggang dun sa bilang ng focal distance. Okay, and then vertex, that is the midpoint of focus to the directrix. Okay, so ito yung point, uh, ito yung nasa pagitan ng focus and a point dun sa directrix. And also, nandito rin yung point natin na nasa axis of symmetry, in which yung axis of symmetry, that is the line that divides the, uh, that is the line that divides the parabola into two equal parts. Okay, so this line also is perpendicular to directrix. So, we have the axis of symmetry and then this is the directrix and we are forming 90 degrees. Okay, and we have another part of a parabola which is what we call the latus rectum. Okay, when we say latus rectum, it is in line segment through the focus and perpendicular to axis of symmetry. Okay, so yung latus rectum is formed doon sa ating 
uh, focus. Do sa ating parabola na dadaan sa focus. Okay, ito siya. Okay, that is a straight line. Okay, so ito yung one point and then another one point which is the end points of the latus rectum. Okay, again, that is the latus rectum. Okay, and then when it comes to its measurement, kung ang measurement na ito mula kay focus sa kay vertex ay C, and gagamitin natin yung focal distance, ang measurement ng focus to the latus rectum, one end point ng latus rectum, that is 2C. And then kung ito ay 2C, therefore itong part na rin na ito is also 2C. Okay, so yung kabuuan ng Uh, latus rectum is 2C plus 2C equals, okay, yung kabuuan na yan, that is 4C. Okay? So, kapag tatanungin ko kayo kung anong measurement ng latus rectum, okay, kunin lang natin yung focal distance times 4. We use the rectrix, this line, para makapag-form tayo ng parabola. Okay, so 1 of the description of a parabola is that, kapag meron tayong point dito sa parabola, okay, parabola, and when we take the distance between this point up to this uh, focus, okay, it is the same with the this line to the distance between this point and another point from the Uh, directrix forming 90 degrees. So, for example, if it is 5 uh, units, therefore, it is also 5 units. Okay, so another one, if we have take 1 point do sa parabola, and kapag kinuha natin yung distance ng line na yan hanggang dito sa ating focus, yun ay parehas din from this point hanggang doon sa directrix perpendicular sa ating directrix. So, so, ibig sabihin ko, ito ay 6 units, therefore, ito rin ay 6 units. Okay, kuha pa tayo nyo sa pang example. So, kung ito is uh, 8 units, okay, 8 units, therefore, this, uh, the distance between this point up to the directrix is also 8 units. We have the general form and standard form of the parabola. Okay, so we are going to use these kinds of equations if our vertex is 0, comma 0. So these are the graphs of the parabola given that the vertex is at 0, comma 0. Okay, so this is the figure of a parabola which opens upward, opens downward, opens to the right, and opens to the left. And lahat ng parabola ay merong uh, vertex, uh, focus, Uh, axis of symmetry, directrix, of course, the parabola itself, and we have also this line, what we call the latus rectum.